what are some very comforting facts? You don't really forget something. You just had the information hidden, but once you get back to it, you can recover your knowledge and skills rapidly. I've had a huge break from learning German, but a few days ago, I went back to it, and I'm already on a similar level I was, despite the fact I was certain that I forgot everything. Memory works like creating a trail in the wilderness. The more you practice something, the more trail that trail gets. If you don't practice, it starts to get overgrown, but it's still there, if ever slightly. If you start to practice again, you have to clear out that growth, but it's way easier than starting from scratch. Your body's cells regenerate constantly to the point where you could say you're a hell new person every 7 years or so, very therapeutic to those with trauma. 90% of what can kill us on this earth luckily for us lives in some distant place called Australia. Nurse here. If you are having a general anesthetic for a routine operation and worried about dying while under, please be aware there are about 7 different levels of stuff we can do to bring you back. So if the thing we normally do doesn't work, we've got plan B, then we've got plan C, D, E, F, G and H. And we rarely need to even go to plan C, let alone the rest. It's ridiculously rare for you to never wake up from a routine op. Of course, it happens occasionally, but for every case you heard about it happening, there's thousands of identical operations where it didn't. I've been qualified 15 years, and it's literally never happened anywhere I've worked. Grace Anatomy leads me to believe there is about one third chance I'll die in surgery. I once found a ladybug in my room in the middle of winter. I tried to look up if I could feed it somehow and found countless other people asking the same question. The world is full of people who have compassion enough to feed a lone bug in the winter. There is a group of bikers called Bikers Against Child Abuse who support child abuse victims in court by looking tough and giving the kids confidence to testify against their abusers. It's actually an international group. Crowds will let other crowds know if you are a good person. Fitting a crowd in your backyard can quickly become many crowds over time since the rumor spreads, and nearby crowds in your area will know you as one they like. They can also be known to be protective of you and even bring you gifts. Suffice to say, crowds are one of the most intelligent creatures on the planet, and they are truly underrated. Jupiter has been protecting Earth from almost every stray asteroid strike coming in from out of the solar system since the planets first formed. The vast majority of people with a first-time seizure will never have another seizure again and will not need lifelong anti-seizure medication. Everybody gets one freebie. Remember the hole in the ozone layer over the South Pole we were taught about growing up thanks to abundant CFCs and other ozone depleting aerosols? That hole is nearly gone and the ozone layer has almost completely replenished to previous levels. The middle or even low income people in developed countries are living a much more comfortable life than the richest people centuries or even millennia ago, in large part thanks to modern medicine making death from a mere infection no longer a near guaranteed death. If you quit smoking by age 40, your life expectancy is the same as non-smoker. There is a type of mold growing on around the elephant's food in Chernobyl. This mold eats radiation, and the radioactivity of the elephant's food has decreased drastically since the mold started growing there. I don't know, it's just comforting to me that the planet can heal no matter how bad the scar we left. There was a TV series in the 2000s called Life After People. That's where they got a lot of scientists, engineers, etc. to speculate on what would happen to the Earth if the human population suddenly vanished. It was pretty fascinating that the Earth will basically very slowly and do everything we've done. It's not going to help us regarding climate change or anything like that. Because the point is that the Earth can heal itself if given the chance. Your pets will forgive you if you accidentally step on them. A person born in the world today is less likely to die violently than at any other point in human history, and each year it gets better, never perfect, just better. Humans can hear each other smile through the phone, through differentiating vocal intonation between smiles and non-smiles. My older brother, when introducing me to his music as a kid, used to point this out when the singer was smiling. I always thought this was such a special little thing not many people think about. 
Cats blink when they like you. This explains why my girlfriend cat stares at me unblinking any time I'm in the same room as her. I love animals, but that cat hates me. It's illegal in Switzerland to own just one guinea pig. You have to have at least two if you want to have any. Guinea pigs get lonely. Tarantulas keep tiny frogs as pets sometimes. The frogs eat ants and other insects that the tarantula can't kill, which would otherwise eat the spider's eggs. In turn, the frog gets a place to live and the best goddamn bodyguard you can ask for. On April 13, 2029, an asteroid apophis with a radius of 606.96, 370 meters, will skim the surface of Earth at around 90,600 miles. It will be visible by the naked eye. It's a comforting fact as it's been studied extensively and will not impact Earth that day. If 99% of the world population finds you unattractive, there are still 78 million people in the world that find you attractive. That's a lot of people. There is a place in Japan called Capybara Land, where you can hang out with capybaras and see them chilling in hot springs. Capybara Land is actually close to going out of business due to less tourism in COVID times. They're desperately seeking donations, if I remember correctly. There is a Japanese pillow fighting sport which features grown adults lying down in patterns before their whistle blows and then they play a game of dodgeball with pillows and nightgowns and learning about that just made my day. The dog estimates the time of your return home by how much of your smell is left in the house from your morning routine. Yep, dogs can tell the time by the strength of your scent in your home. They learn when your scent is at a certain weakness. That's when you come home and that's why you'll notice a lot of dogs prepare for their owners to come home. It's burn if you leave out clothes that smell like you. He'll confuse the dog and they can't do that anymore. If you make it to the airport without dying, you've already passed the deadliest part of plane travel. My father-in-law used to work in the aircraft industry on the production line. He has told me many times that once you're in the air, a couple of minutes you're fine. If the initial stresses of taking off don't cause any problems to the plane, it'll be fine. I'm a pilot in training and can verify that the majority of plane crashes are caused by pilot error. We often will go into case studies about crashes caused by human error and, as tragic as these accidents are, each one creates or tightens a regulation that continues to make flying even safer. You can talk to a pet rabbit by quickly pushing your lips downwards and upwards as if you were trying to look up your nose in a mirror. Do it quickly and you're chatting. It mimics the nose movements they make and you can see them wiggle their noses faster out of interest. Copy their rhythm too and watch them talk back. Also, stomping your foot like they do as well as turning your back on them when annoyed is understood too. If they have chewed something they shouldn't have, you can stomp one foot and turn around with your arms folded. Have a look over your shoulder to make sure they see you. They should come to check on you and if they don't stomp and make sure they see your back is turned, eventually they get it and come over to make sure you're okay. Then let the nose waggling commence. You can expect them to do the same to you as well like when you clean their enclosure. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to watch other videos.